Hi there guys, my name is Jacob and welcome back to the channel. So if you watched my last video, then you will know that I am about to get a solar panel and battery system installed at my house. And this is something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. So I am so excited that in just a couple of weeks time, it should all be installed and, you know, be in use, even though it's January and I'm sure the sun isn't going to be out that much at this time of year. It will technically all be installed and I should be receiving power from the sun. So in today's video, I just thought I would go over exactly what equipment I am having installed, who I'm having it installed by, and the most crucial part for, it seems, everyone is how much it cost and how long it is going to take to pay me back. So first of all, I will just go through exactly what I am having installed. So I am having 12 Jinko solar panels, which are 440 watts and they are all black. And I'm having the 12 panels installed on my east and south facing roofs. Now, I think I'm having around four panels placed on the uh, east facing roof and the remainder of the panels on the south facing. And all in all, that equates to 5.28 kilowatts of panels on the roof. Now, along with that, I'm having a Give Energy 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter installed, and that will be going in the garage. And along with that, I'm having a 9.5 kilowatt battery, again, from Give Energy, and that will be installed in the garage as well. And a little bonus to the system was um, I wasn't looking for this particularly right away, but my installer actually threw it in as a bit of a package price. So I'm also getting an EV charger as well installed at the house. And again, that will be the Give Energy EV charger. Now, I don't have an EV at this point, but it's on my list of things to get. Um, you know, we've got a petrol and a diesel car at the moment. So one of those is going to be changed probably this year. Uh, for an EV. So it just made sense that if they could throw in the EV charger as well, then I may as well just get it all set up at the same time. So that covers all the equipment. So I guess the important part now is how much is all that going to cost me? Well, it's actually going to cost me a round total of £9,000. Now, I don't know whether you think that is good or whether you think that is bad, but please let me know down in the comments. But I reached out to a number of installers, um, some big, some small, and that is how I came about to get this quote and to go with the installer that I have actually chosen to go with. So as I say, it's going to cost me £9,000. Now, to get to that number, I did a little bit of negotiating with the installer. And I will just be upfront, the installer I've gone with is a local installer. Um, so they're not a big kind of brand such as an Octopus Energy or, you know, a British Gas, someone like that, like a big energy company. But I did reach out to a couple of the big ones. Um, Octopus Energy was one of them. And although I very much liked the customer service side and the package that they could offer um, and the equipment that they could offer, ultimately, I found them to just be too expensive and, to be honest, not very competitive now, I've got to say it did surprise me because with a company like Octopus Energy being such a huge company, I I don't know, maybe foolishly assumed that they might be more competitive because of the way they can buy equipment in bulk. And I would have thought that would have brought the price down so they could be, you know, as competitive as anyone. But sadly, that wasn't the case. So I ended up contacting a few local installers and one of them was my kind of more favourable option because they came recommended by someone. Someone had actually used them uh, before and that is a company called Ace Solar Energy and they are located pretty close to my house, um, only a few miles away. So I thought that was ideal to be quite honest because, you know, once the system is installed, there might be, you know, some kind of aftercare stuff that, you know, you'd like your installer to maybe come back and see to if there was any problems with the system in the future. Again, I didn't really want um, an installer to be, a, you know, a long way away or, you know, have any trouble getting in contact with them. 
So as I say, the installer I've actually gone with, they're called Ace Solar. They've been around for around 15 years. Um, so they've got a heck of a lot of experience in you know, the, the field of solar panels, batteries, EV points, you know, all these different things. So I have full confidence that I am going to get a good quality install um, with good quality equipment as well. So very happy with that. Um, but as I say, I'll just go back to the £9,000 cost that it is ultimately costing me. I am paying that um, out of my savings. I'm not getting a loan or anything like that. Uh, that will just be the cash price that I will be paying once the install is complete. Now, that was something that if I'd have gone with a bigger company, such as an Octopus Energy, they offered me 0% finance for, I think it was three years, which obviously is very appealing. And I know a few people actually that have signed up through that route um, because of the 0% financing. And like I say, it is very appealing, but when I factored in the additional cost, and I have to say Octopus was around £4,000 more uh, than the price that I am going for. So when you factor in £4,000 extra, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't run the numbers and get them to add up, you know, £4,000 is a lot of extra money. And even though they offer the 0% finance where you just pay, you know, maybe a couple of hundred pounds a month for three or four years, it still doesn't work out better off than just splashing the £9,000 up front and just having it paid off, you know, in full from day one. Um, now, you might be thinking, well, okay, I'm spending £9,000. How long is it going to take for me to recoup that £9,000? Um, and that is a good question. The installer themselves believe that my 5.28 kilowatt system will generate roughly 4,500 kilowatts of energy per year. And that equates to £960, roughly, um, on today's price of energy. Although, to be honest, with the increase in January um, and then the increase in April coming up, um, technically that saving will be bigger in the very near future. But off the prices that they quoted at, the unit prices that they quoted at, at the time of my quote and getting all this sorted, uh, that 4,500 4, kilowatts ended up being a saving annually of about £960. So as you can see, £9,000 cost, and I'm going to be saving £960 a year. You know, that is a fantastic return on investment, you know, more than 10% a year. But crucially, what that doesn't take into account is the fact that I'm having a battery installed as well. So the 4,500 kilowatts of energy that is going to be produced, um, you know, that £960 figure is at the, the 21 or 22 pence per kilowatt rate. But with a battery, that will allow me access to rates that I currently don't have access to. Um, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you get, you know, solar and a battery installed, energy companies will then allow you to move on to tariffs that you can benefit from charging up your battery overnight and ultimately give you access to cheaper rates. So, uh, you know, as little as 10 pence a kilowatt, uh, depending on what provider you go with, you know, some it's a little more, some it's a little less. But, you know, it's roughly half price. Um, just to charge your battery up. And at that point, I can use my battery throughout the day because the 9.5 kilowatt battery that I am going for will on pretty much every day of the year, roughly. There are some where we use a bit more, but roughly that will cover my daily use for every day of the year, regardless of whether it's summer or winter. And what that then allows me to do is a lot of the um, energy that I am um, generating from the solar panels, especially in the peak of the summer, I can then export back to the grid and sell that energy. Now, the exporting side of how you generate money with solar panels is not taken into account when it comes to the savings that the installer has told me I can look to expect. They only have said that the panels will generate 4,500 kilowatts, and this is the saving that you'll make off that. But there are additional savings to be made and they come from, as I said before, charging the battery up overnight on a cheap rate 
and also exporting um, excess energy back to the grid and selling that on. And I have worked out that, you know, I think I'll be making savings of anywhere between 1200 and 1400 pounds a year, which if you work that out, you know, in terms of a payback period, I roughly think it will actually pay me back in approximately seven and a half years, uh, rather than the kind of nine and a half that the installer thinks it will take to pay me back. So I think a seven and a half year payback period, if, if it, I can get it to be that, I think is a fantastic payback period. Um, and, you know, considering the panels are um, under warranty for 25 years and the battery and inverter are covered for 12 years, um, honestly, I think it's a no brainer. If anything goes wrong with any of this equipment for, you know, a minimum of the first 12 years, then, you know, potentially I can get the equipment swapped, fixed, all that type of stuff. But if it's going to have paid me back, let's say after eight years, then everything after eight years is just pure profit. And I can't think of a better way really to spend £9,000 at this moment in time. When, you, when I look at savings rates, when I look at stock market returns, things like that, to be honest, getting a solar panel system seems up there as one of the best investments that I could do. So just looking at it from a purely financial perspective, it is a great thing to do. But the great thing about solar panels and a battery is there are far more benefits than just the finances. It is cutting your carbon emissions down, you know, your individual impact. It's supplying green energy to not only yourself, but the grid. Um, that, you know, cutting my own bills down on a monthly basis is, again, another big factor. Um, it's not just the return on investment, but for me, it's the kind of cash flow side of it. Um, as, you know, all bills seem to just rise every single year. And, you know, a lot of the time you kind of just try and keep your head above water and make sure everything's paid. Well, the solar panel system is going to give me more breathing room because it's going to lower that monthly energy bill, hopefully completely wipe it out, to be quite honest. I think in the summer months, anywhere from kind of March to September, I predict I don't think I'm going to have an energy bill. And potentially in some of those months, I'm actually going to be getting paid from the energy provider. So when you factor that in, that is going to be such a huge help for me on a monthly basis, you know, with bills, things like that going forward for the next 10, 20, maybe even further. So all in all, I am genuinely super excited to get all this installed and, you know, kind of start monitoring it and see how well it performs. I love all that type of stuff of kind of tracking the statistics of things and see how well it's performing, see if we can optimise it, you know, to make it be a little bit better. Maybe I can export more and, you know, play around with the kind of buying it in cheap and selling it in for more, gaming the system a little bit. I think I'm going to enjoy all that type of stuff um, when it comes to having a solar panel and battery system. But let me know what you think. Do you think that £9,000 for what I have described is a reasonable cost? Um, if you've got a similar size system uh, and you're happy to share the cost, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to have a chat with you, you know, about your experiences of your own systems if you've got this installed already. And if you haven't, if you're thinking about it, then again, let me know down below. Let me know what you're thinking of getting and whether you think I've gone for the right equipment or whether you would have done something different. If you made it this far, guys, thank you very much for watching. There is a link down below for Octopus Energy. It is a referral link that if you use that link, you will get a £50 incentive, a credit added to your bill when you complete the switch. And if you are on a standard tariff at the moment, I highly recommend you switch to a fixed tariff. And if you do that with Octopus, you're going to get a very good rate, but you're also going to get an extra £50 of credit on top. So it's a great little thing to take advantage of. So feel free to hit that link in the description box below. And guys, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.